names in these so by the way i look like a mess but it doesn't matter because by the end of the video you girls are gonna get cute this is a self-care video i do look like an absolute mess because i do kind of want to show you guys the before and after but as you guys can see like my hair is very dry it's very dirty it's very dry like i look absolutely crazy i haven't washed my hair for a week and yeah my skin everything looks terrible i'm gonna show you guys my shower routine my body care my skincare my hair routine this video is basically about home pampering because sometimes when i don't have enough time you know to go out sometimes when i'm just feeling a bit shitty whatever but i'm not really feeling myself i like to do, do extra self-care routine just to make myself feel better before the face mask on and having a shower all that yes it's going to make you feel more fresh and whatever but sometimes it's about to take your self-care routine to a whole next level it's going to make you feel like you're that girl we're going to do a lot of home pampering today like we're going to put a lot of face mask on i, I bought some new um beauty stuff that i really want to show you guys i used to get hg madonna once a month and obviously the place that i used to go to it was like really 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 far so I just couldn't be consistent with that. Instead, I decided to invest in my own home steamer. So usually when I used to go to her, she used to put protein mask on my hair. She just used to use like a steam on my hair. But I kind of thought about it, I was like, well, what's the point of going all the way there when I could do my own hair routine at home and I could just buy my own steamer? Because think about it, guys, you can literally get a very affordable steamer from Amazon. So I've got my own home steamer. I kind of make my hair grow more and obviously it's always coming up. I just like to do my curly hair routine during summertime because I just think it's more convenient and it's a really easy hairstyle to do. If you are someone who suffers from a bit of dry hair or if it just gets too dry, buying a hair steamer is the perfect thing for you. It basically hydrates your hair and it helps to bring back your curls. I used to have very, very tight and beautiful small little curls back in the day, but obviously when you tend to like blow dry and straighten your hair a lot, your hair texture kind of changes. I do tend to blow dry my hair a lot and I do tend to straighten my hair a lot. Sometimes that can ruin your curls. If you're a girl who loves to have curly hair, then I will suggest for you not to blow dry or straighten your hair. I try to limit the heat on my hair to be honest. So I'm going to put some hair mask on and I'm going to steam my hair. And I'm going to try to be very consistent if you literally steam your hair once a week. I don't think you should steam it like every day. That's not really sick. But if you steam your hair at least once a week, you're all going to see a huge, huge change. The thing is, what was the point of me just traveling that far to get my hair steamed? And I used to pay a lot of money as well. I used to take a cab because that's when Medea was born. I didn't like taking the public transport because I had a newborn. I think she used to charge me like £80 or £70, which was quite a lot. And on top of that, I had to spend money on food and I had to spend money on cab. That's a lot. Why not invest in your hair steamer and you will save more money and you'll see a better result because you could do it yourself. So I'm gonna steam my face today. I've got, by the way, my own face steamer. Then I apply the face mask and I'm gonna do a hair mask as well. When I apply some castor oil, coconut oil, and etc. I'll show you guys the products that I will be applying on my hair. I wanna do a joint planning. It's basically this little thing I'll show you guys. It's basically like a razor. And what it does is, it just basically removes all the dead skin cells that you've got on your face and the hair. If you have someone who has a lot of hair on your face, but I don't really have hair on my face like that. I just got a bit of, you know, hair above my lips and then my eyebrow. I'm just gonna like, just clean up around my eyebrow area just to make it more neat. So before we do that, I'm gonna apply this olive oil gel that I bought from Hannah Nabarre. By the way guys, this olive oil is so good. If you're someone who's suffering from like scarring or high pigmentation, this one is really, really good. You can make your own homemade olive oil, but sometimes I don't have enough time to do that extra step. This is really off topic, but my son recently just caught um, chicken box. And when you have chicken box, you know, you get a lot of scars. A lot of people got chicken box when they were a kid. I got chicken box when I was younger. If your child maybe caught some chicken box, then I would recommend for you guys to use olive oil. It would help with the scarring. Like my son got a lot of scar on his chest now and a bit on his face. So I've been applying olive oil on his face and his body. It's been really helping him. I'm really off topic anyway. I'm gonna apply a bit of the olive oil on my face. The olive oil thing is what it helps with. If you're someone who tends to get that like, sunburn easily, then I would recommend for you to use this olive oil gel. You should still apply sun cream, but olive oil gel will still help you protect you from the sun. You know, let me just open this. <laughs> Got me all up in my feels, in all kind of 
place I've been trying to play, but lately I just wanna keep it real, real One more play is safe, let's take it all the play I'm just saying, I just wanna make time for you yeah. Swear it's just right for you, like this pussy design for you yeah. Ten out of five on you, no I was not on the line so as you guys can see this is basically how much hair came out i've got my face steamer here but you can use it in two ways you can also use it as a hair steamer the water just heating up basically right now so i'm just gonna do it there for now while i'm waiting for the steamer to heat up i'm gonna bring out the face mask that i'll be using today i'm going to use my 10 minute detox face mask which you guys many times on this channel before i'm just gonna tie my hair back I'm gonna let the steam open up my pores. Put my time on. Yeah. 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 Lisa break a nigga in the pieces Had to act some cheesy niggas out my circle like a pizza I'm way too exclusive, I don't shop on Insta boutiques All the little ass clothes only fit fake booties Bad bitch, still talking cash shit Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing I would never trip on a nigga if I had him Bitch, that's my trash, you the bad, so you bad I'm a savage Classic, bougie, gadget one time and then think you're going to see a result straight away you need to be very very consistent when you do this hair routine i think once i finish pampering myself i think i might just go out for a walk i always go out to eat or something Managed to, you know, 
have my hair back. I did lose a lot of hair, guys, when I gave birth to me and Leah because I was breastfeeding. I did lose a lot of hair, but you just need to work on it. Also, you need to make sure as well you're eating really healthy and you're taking your supplements. It's not just doing your hair routine. Like some people think, like, oh, if you just apply some a bit of oil on your hair, you'll be good. No, you need to eat good and healthy as well. Like, I don't know if this actually does work, but I do eat a lot of avocado. So every minute is to like eat avocado all the time, but since you know having kids and stuff like I've heard that avocado is really good for you and it's very beneficial to your skin, your hair, and etc. So I've just really been eating a lot of avocado, especially for breakfast. I eat avocado at least four times a week. Yeah, at least four times a week, or maybe five times a week. It depends. It did really make my hair grow. A lot. If you guys are looking to to grow your hair, I would recommend for you guys to eat avocado. It does really help. Once I apply my hair, I'm gonna quickly pop to the kitchen. I'm gonna make myself my famous avocado smoothie. I'm not even playing with you guys, but this smoothie that I make, it tastes so good. You wouldn't even taste the spinach of the avocado. Honestly, it tastes so sweet and so nice. My kids, they don't like eating veg. Like any of my kids, they hate eating veg. My son, yeah, when he sees a bit of green in his food, he'll, like, he'll panic. He'll be like, oh my god, I don't, I don't want to like, eat. Like, he gets really scared. I make him smoothie sometimes for breakfast, and yeah, and he likes it. Literally, he doesn't even know what's in there. I'm going to make myself a nice little smoothie. Um, myself in a minute. I'll apply some castor oil. Now I'm going to apply my 24K grow oil. By the way, I got this oil from my hairdresser when I used to get my hair treatment done a couple of months ago and she told me this will help grow your edges and I'm not gonna lie I haven't really been consistent with this hair oil so I can't really tell you guys if this actually does work but yeah but I'm just gonna apply it you know it's still oil apparently it makes your edges grow but I don't know if it actually does I'm still gonna use it and you know it's black wearing business so why not support them? So I apply that on my edges and I'm just gonna like massage them. One thing about the castor oil is really sticky. So I apply the clean water oil. The next thing I'm gonna apply is my vitamin E oil. It helps with if someone's got some dry hair and it helps with split ends. And it also helps with if you are someone who's suffering from hair loss. If you're someone who just had a baby recently as well, I do think the vitamin E oil would be very beneficial. When you do like breastfeed or if you've had a baby after six months, you tend to like lose a bit of hair after giving birth or after six months. And that happened to me. So I would recommend for you guys to include some vitamin E oil in your hair. And by the way, I got this from Holland and Barrett. Don't just get any type of vitamin E oil. You need to get one that's like natural and it has 100% vitamin E oil. So don't get a vitamin E oil that has other ingredients, just get one that has pure vitamin E oil. I think that's what people get twisted. They like to get different type of oils and it has different type of ingredients. If you want a product to work, you need to make sure that you stick to a product that only has that one product that you are looking for. Like for example, the castor oil is literally pure castor oil. When you go to the beauty store, like when you buy this beauty product, like you see a castor oil that has a bit of um, other ingredients in there like orange or lemon don't get it because I don't think it's gonna actually work it helps with rejuvenate your scalp so if you're someone who suffers from scalp issues like you know dry scalp then vitamin E oil would really help just want to put you guys on like what I found out about these products recently but I've been using this vitamin E oil for a while so you guys can see the bottle is almost empty I like to do these hair routines like every two weeks or once a week if I have time on my hand you know what I mean it really depends on if my kids, if my kids really don't bother me. Now that I've applied all my hair oils, I was gonna apply a hair mask, but um, I don't really wanna mix everything, so I'm just gonna let that say. Maybe I'll apply the hair mask next week. Today I really want to focus on making sure that my hair gets really hydrated, that's my main focus and I really want these products to work so I don't want to mix too many products. We use the 24k hair grow oil and by the way this is a um, small black owned business so I will leave her hairdresser link on my description box down below if you guys are interested and this is a Fatini E oil. 
that I used and a Jamaican castor oil. I'm gonna go back to make myself a nice little smoothie. See you guys in a bit. Take the top off, baby, and it's no muffin I got something for everybody, something, something A little something, gotta get you pumping I gotta take a flight to somewhere I can get some sun in I gotta get a little tan on, cause I'm looking kinda ghostly Like the, like the Rolls Royce is when I pull up and I, I'm supposed to be Cause I need you to be a Now that we are finished with our pampering routine, the next step that we're going to do is jump in the shower. And uh, while we're in the shower, the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this face mask that I applied into my skin. Once I finish doing that, the next step that I'm gonna do is apply my SA cleanser to remove any dirt that I've got left on my skin. And uh, I really like to use this cleanser because it really helps to exfoliate and remove all the dead skin that I've got on my skin. And once we finish doing that, then I'm just gonna rinse my face off. Okay, now that we are finished with the face part, the next thing I'm gonna apply is my Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Intensive Hydration Shampoo. And guys, I absolutely love the shampoo. The shampoo has really helped to get my curls back that I've lost in the past. And when I'm washing my hair, I always like to make sure that I get my scalp. And just to remove any buildup that I have on my hair since I have applied so much oils on my hair today. Okay, now that we've finished scrubbing the scalp, the next thing I'm going to do is rinse off the shampoo from my hair and once I finish doing that then I'm going to go over with my OC 3 minute miracle moist deep conditioner and this conditioner has avocado and jojoba oil guys this condition is absolutely amazing it is so soft and it smells so good and it's so affordable okay once i finish applying my deep conditioning into my hair the next thing i like to do is grab a big comb and just comb through my hair and once i finish doing that then i like to leave on the conditioner for 10 minutes and once that's done then i like to rinse my hair off Okay, now that we've finished with the hair part, it is time to shave our body. And when I shave my body, I like to use a razor and a body oil. And the body oil that I'm using at the moment is the Sen Cocoa Butter one. The reason why I like to use a body oil instead of shaving cream, me personally, I feel like when I use a oil, it just makes it more easier to shave my legs and it tends to um, remove more hair for me personally without me cutting myself. And also it gives you that extra little glow that you're looking for. So that's that's why I prefer to use a body oil. Now that we've finished shaving our body, the next thing we're going to do is apply a shower gel. And the shower gel that I'm using at the moment is the mango and the papaya scent. And guys, when I say it smells absolutely amazing, it smells absolutely amazing. And listen, if you're someone who's into fruity type of scent, then you will really, really like this. Right now, it's one of my favorite shower gels to use. And I really like the fact that you can smell the mango once you finish using the shower gel. Once we finish using the shower gel, the next thing we're going to apply is our mango shea butter exfoliant scrub. And when I'm exfoliating my skin, I always like to make sure that I scrub all over my body, especially like my legs, my arms, just to make sure that I don't have any dead skin. And also, I do think that this scrub is perfect for someone who has dry skin since one of the ingredients is shea butter. 
okay now that we've finished our shower routine the next step that we're going to do is apply our body cream and the body cream that i'm using at the moment is the neutrino hyaluronic acid and body gel and guys this body gel is really really hydrating on your body and it just really gives you that extra glow i'm just going to do my skincare routine okay i changed my rope because what rope is really work apply my body cream and my comfortable silk and rope that i like to wear when i'm walking around the house you know i'm just gonna apply my rose water toner on my face i really love this one as well literally i've been using this for so many years and it keeps my skin very hydrated it minimizes the breakouts on my skin it just really does a good job the next thing i like to do is i like to apply my dr dennis gross chemical peel i really really love this peel you guys need to have this peel like honestly it helps with the texture of your skin it makes your pores like smaller if i don't have these peels guys i'm gonna like, like my skin will break up and it helps to get rid of like dark mark you have in your face it helps to like minimize your breakouts like it really does a lot when you apply these pills it feels like you literally just got a chemical pill you need to like follow the instructions so the step one is exfoliate like, pad you need to use it all around your skin till it's fully dry If you want, you can also apply this on your neck. Or not, you don't want the pill to go to waste. Oh, behind the Look how much dirt they removed from my face and my neck. Done the first step. The second step is basically moisturizer. Now that's done, the next thing I'm going to do is apply my gold eye mask. And by the way, these gold eye masks I bought from Amazon. I've got so many. Look how much I've got. Actually, this is how much it came with the package. And I only paid £10. Money well spent. And this will last me for like a very long time. This one is Crystal Collagen Gold Powder Eye Mask. I would like to apply eye mask under my eyes because I don't really get enough sleep. So you just leave this on. I'm gonna grab this face contour. Basically like a Chinese method. By the way, I'm still learning how to use it, so I don't know how to use it properly, but what it does is it helps to contour your face. And it helps with like, if you have any dark circles and things like that. Sometimes when you wake in the morning, our face could be a bit swollen, so this will help you if you have any puffiness or if your face is a bit swollen in the morning. And then it just kind of helps to contour your face. When you do this, you just need to take your time. I really want to get my face snatched because, you know, I have a bit of chubby cheeks, so... That's all done and hopefully I can be consistent with this. The next thing I'm going to use now is my Fora face device mask that I recently just purchased. It gives you like a spa experience when you use the device on your face. It keeps your skin very like hydrated. It comes with this little face sheet.
day to slowly awaken as the red LED and a gentle warmth prepare your skin to receive the full benefits of this complex. Allow uh, your mind and body to relax. She's fully dry. Now that I've done with the skincare part, the next thing I'm going to apply is my hand mask and my foot mask. I think I'm going to make myself a little drink. I'm just going to sit in the corridor. I'm just going to make myself a little iced tea and I'll be back. Before I apply my foot and my hand mask, I'm going to apply my Moroccan oil hair treatment. I really love this, but this is my favorite, favorite hair oil. It's actually finished. I'm gonna apply this on my. I'm gonna buy another one. As you guys can see, the bottle. So it was done, and this smells so good. It's one of my favorite hair oil. and chill for like 15 and 20 minutes till all this gets dried up I just made myself another drink but this time I made myself cold icing 